quarter to three. The first time I heard that voice, I was eight years old. I was shining shoes in a bar on the south side of Chicago. In the end, I was a pallbearer at his funeral. He was like a father to me. At age 78, we were all wondering, when is he going to lay it down? When is he going to quit? He would have hit and miss nights, but crowds loved him. They couldn't get enough of him. And uh, they came, they were really coming to say goodbye to him. And every city we went to, they were coming to say goodbye. And one night in, um, in the Mark Auditorium, there's like 20,000 people in the arena, and I did my show, and it was a good audience and everything. He, he went out, he did three songs, he was rolling. He got to the fourth song, and he totally blanked on the lyrics. And the orchestra was down in the pit, and they kept playing, not knowing that he was lost. And he started whispering into the microphone, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Now, when I saw that happen, I went, oh, this is it. We were always wondering when is he gonna lay it down, but this is, this is the night. He's whispering to the orchestra, started to realize that he wasn't with them, and they started to wind their instruments down one at a time to an eerie silence in this huge arena. And now he's whispering, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. By that time, I was stage left, and I thought, okay, this is it, <clears throat> you know, he's gonna come off stage and I'm gonna say, let's go home, Mr. S. It's been a great career, but it's time to go home. And he turned around and there th was dead silence and he had tears in his eyes and he looked like he was gonna come and lay the microphone down and the guy way up on top of the audience stood up by himself and he hollered out, that's all right, Frank, it's all right. We love you, Frank, it's all right, because we love you, and he started to applaud. And the guy next to him started applauding, and a couple of them, pretty soon... I'm getting chills, people, I'm getting well, chills, keep going. <clears throat> Hundreds of people started applauding, then thousands, and pretty soon the whole arena was cheering, cheering and cheering. He got to the edge of the stage, and I thought he was going to go home, and he turned around, and he went back to center stage, and they wouldn't stop cheering. And finally, they calmed down, and he went into the next number, which was Mac the Knife, and he absolutely drilled that song. He hit every nuance and every lyric. He was like he was 19 years old again. Now, <clears throat> when he finished that song, the people wouldn't stop cheering. And he was ready to go into the next number when he quieted him down and he started to sing and he stopped and he pointed up to the guy and he said, I love you too, pal. And he sang for two years after that. Wow. He, two years. That guy doesn't know. That fan brought him from the ashes that night.